So welcome back to the Celtic Republic in Hearts of Iron 4, or rather the Road to 56. So at the moment we are very behind on guns, force equipment, and we're okay for, the, for a few other things. We also have almost no planes worth a damn. And what we do have is a very large navy very large navy that's also quite dated. On the plus side, all of our um our chiefs our military chiefs and other experts are cheaper to hire. Political power anyway. We're kind of short on command power. Taking a while to get there though. So my first goal is to just get as many of these filled out, start building up that XP, build as many of these factories as I can. And probably start once I get Celtic integration. Gonna go here for the straight extra two factories, then develop where it needs to gain an extra factory in dockyards, then create the Morgan line. Which the last time I tried saw my earlier testing, it looked like it was along here. So Nant, Ren, and this is here. But I'll see where that goes first. I need a lot of those as well. I'm just gonna shut up and go back to it. The reason I want to get developed Brittany is so I can gain access to a Mayo fur for the build fighters with. Most of these are awful and I'm just gonna decommission them. I keep the short Singapore because it's gonna be a very basic naval patrol bomber, but I probably won't create them. Master Gladiator and actually EJ these. So they are basically worthless. Air fighter worth those air support might keep. Basically, I need a lot more air XP before I can even think of doing that. And oh my god, this is really so the uh There, the support. Oh, yes. So Ireland. Oh, I've got to do a spy agency. May as well do that now. State Security Service. Right, dispersed or concentrated. Most of our factories won't be so vulnerable because they're going to be behind, well away from here. But some of these buildings will be targeted. So I'm guessing, I think this first might be the way to go. All right, bump up as many things as we can get. The spy agency. Now have. Navy. Hmm. Not a lot of capitals on the screen, so probably the size of battle. Okay, so we obviously have a lot of things inherited from from the United Kingdom. So we're already on trench warfare. Already on fleet and being. Don't have anything for air doctrine, don't have anything for special forces. Because we don't have any special forces. This means that we can choose a few things for the Spirit of the Academy and we can choose Relief of Command. Go with that. Too good to pass up. Let's see, we already have trucks. We do not have civilian trains. Let's give us. So, less production costs, less. How the hell do we not have trains for crying out loud? So, England wants to limit naval rearmament. 
Hmm. I'll be honest, I'm not even going to be building the extra tips anyway, so I have no problem with that. So we're between 50 and 75 percent in of Britain. Good strength, I really don't care about. Yeah, I think it's time I start maybe designing some better subs. Can we even build any? Maybe some better better destroyers then. And build them based off our reading complete, I think. Ooh, this is gonna be expensive. So I'll leave that for now. So, because we're going to be sitting on the defense a lot, I think tenacious defense is probably going to be better for our navy, for our army, for navy. Hmm. Probably in still. It's going to be really handy for convoy raiding as well. Which I think the next thing I'm going to research here will be 1936 submarine hull because I am not using early subs. Up I just go with this now because it is very quick. Ooh, this would be nice. I'll go for create the Morgan line because it gives us some ports to work with, and then strengthen shipping routes because that'll reduce our consumer good requirements by about by twelve percent. That's large. Yes, we are very very short of factories. There's not much I can really do about that until I get more, until I have them. I can get a few from focuses, and I probably will. Let's see, where did I said it was going to be subs? What the? I'm actually going to go with the, with these guys because I've never tried. I I don't think I've ever seen a Mayo that is submarine specific. Would be that I'm just not looking at the box. Oh, producing light anti air that I don't need to use. That was stupid. Well, behold the Morgan line. Ren, this or this dockyard or naval base here, and this province here. Well, I am going to queue up a few more. This is all planes. Probably a few in Nantes as well. What I'm probably going to end up doing when holding the line is focusing on these three or four provinces here. Basically, forts, uh, towns already provide a pen an attack penalty. And there's a river here to block Sun and Zair. It means we would lose this one turret, this one victory point. We wouldn't be losing five pointer. Or a twelve pointer. I mean we have quite a few victory points over here. I wonder how that's gonna affect um rats. I didn't get that far left. So I've moved I've moved the Irish army down or it was down to down to this new Morgan line. And I'm at the moment I'm focusing on infantry equipment production to try and so I can then spam out as many of these training divisions as possible. Because these guys can hold can hold a line. Can't really push very well though. They don't need to. They just need to sit here. Let the Germans come to us. While that's happening, I'm going to be. Once I've got the factories for artillery and support equipment, I'll change them over. In fact, I think I might just change some of these over to the train division now. Like, we don't have, have the equipment, the infantry equipment, but 
we gain back some artillery and support equipment, which we are very short of. They only had 20 pieces. And we didn't have any artillery stuff at all because I'm an idiot and forgot to build some. Right, now that I've got this shipping lanes thing, vital shipping routes, I'm going to go straight for establish the army and then straight down here to just get some factories quickly. Just give us some, an extra bit of army XP. We're not too short of an account. Use it at the moment. We got spies coming up. Fairfax Kid, you and Mr. Grant will get into Germany and start engaging in the sneaky breaky. Now, I think I'm going to use Bell Donald to try and, and design some multi role or design our close air support. Some of that extra range is there anything that we can do for x plus well, for transport air attacks not gonna be all that useful they go with fight fighters first use the hurricane to have some close air support capability now i think about it You turn this into a fight. A Bell Donald build. Actually, give them just bomb rocks. Bomb rocks and it's, and it's, it's not great air attack, but they don't need to. It's just to it keep fighters off them long enough for the hurricanes to come. He's to do some them out of the fire. Oh, we are so behind on factories. Oh, I hadn't even looked at the, uh, what we could give Mr. Luck. So, Field Marshal Luck, you are a logistics wizard. Very good, very helpful. And you specialize in defensive doctrine. We're going to need the intro. Let's see, we're actually... We actually have a surplus of guns again. Or rather, we... We're no longer short of them, but only just. Still, still no time to create any units yet. Ah, uh, interesting modernization. So we had an extra factory and gain a bonus for industry. It's kind of annoying that I have to pull this. So modernization, expand the construction circuit, uh, sector, sector, because more factories, then ding them back, or more factories, eh, I might go in with this, no idea what I'm doing, I'm going to start updating our is, and yes, I'm just going to go with this heavy machinery workshop, because it's just doesn't add any downsides. So, what am I doing with production out? Ifs, buts, or maybes. Let's see. East arm. Defense, extra breakthrough. I'm basically going to be adding these to motorized infantry. So, extra armor to make, make them tougher will be. Archiverse, Kukula, Bush. So, ability, speed, or 
I think reliability. I do not want things breaking down on me. I'm going to go with our captain of industry over our women's fairhead now because I do need these extra buffs to construction speed. Plus, once I have the next 150 power, I am going to get Miss Lee? Mrs. Lee? I have no idea. Now, we are currently on a civilian economy, so that's not going to make too much difference, but it'll add up. Yeah, I'm selling off our mini bombers because we don't have many of them, and they're just not worth us guessing for the time. <laughs> that said, on the whole air adoption front, I'm probably going to go with... They're all old ones that we can't anyway. I'm not entirely sure which what I'm gonna go with. Field support because well, we are gonna be built we are gonna be building uh close air support so that'll give them extra agility and it'll improve our air sprayer. We're also probably going to have a lot of our planes down here just holding the lot, helping hold the line. We'll start cranking out some extra newer submarines and destroyers. Basically, we need to upgrade our fleet. We don't have nearly enough fuel to support them, but we need to do it. Well, now I have full factories for guns, I can start cranking out some more units. So far about 900, so I can only really get four at a time. And say what a time they're ready, in three months I should have enough to build again. So 25th of November, whereas... 2nd of January, it's fully equipped. Yeah, that's a pretty significant. Yeah, we're going to need steel mills because we are going to be short of them. And then support light industry, I think, to get some extra factories. And then I'm going to go into the provisional government work. And I need support equipment for trying out my like do that. Right, it's up and it's kind of irritating. Radios make them less likely to come. I can probably start upgrading the subs now. Yeah, I give them some extra trophy. Probably take it'll take a while for them to do that, but it'll get there. I'll probably put them off in a in a separate fleet. What I tend to do with submarines is have them off and sink in by themselves or maybe in pairs, just to spread it cover as wide an area as possible and to avoid a stacking penalty. But there's not much I can really do about that. Let's start some of these foot. God, this uses up so much fuel. And that's our first five updated infantry brigades. Right, this. Regular vision. 
We need 30 support equipment, 12 artillery, and 17 infantry. Ice industry. Get more of the or just to get these out the door quicker. The industrial region. Oh, it's just for that. Rubber, probably not. I get this, even though it's a little early, because I can put this on cruisers. I know most of the cruisers I have are absolutely useless, but they can at least do some spotting. They're basically just building me up naval XP to try and get a one of these. Please, no plane, no plane. Yes, I know, it's just free. Although, with anything else, our control system. Wait until the wait until Raiders research then start cranking out a lot of those. Finally, we got our spy back. I'm even annoyed at myself for doing that, or forgetting that. Oh, we can start like, swapping some of these units over to the infantry division. Oh, I'd say I was going to do this provisional government because we are going to need the extra ability and stuff. I go with this woman's figurehead because she provides a recruitable population boost and stability. I don't have to spend any extra power to gain the extra boost. You know what I mean. Next thing first, I could go straight to the limited conscription now because we are already short of this or. Would save up the power and go for cultural norms because this is pretty much what I always go for. Like, there are no downsides to this. Machine gun. Ah, this would have been really handy earlier. Parliamentarianism gives an extra modifier for party political. That part Hilarity, stability, but political advice will be 50% cheaper. Well, may as well get it now. Ooh, England is guaranteeing our independence. That wasn't expected. So, at this point, I can either go down the chemical industry, which means we can build some, some of our own fuel, Nice. Mm. But this, this does block out coalition building, but I'm not sure how that's going to work. Let's 
here for deterrence. Or I could just build some, a, a refinery in, in Bryce. That would be nice to get later. Make some defense on core territory. Ooh, this looks like a bug. Apparently, I can still go down the, the Prime Minister of Fascist path, even though I've gone democratic. Uh, there's anything else? Nice, but I need to... Actually, I'll get this because it gives me a free factory. And research bonus would be nice, but it's that extra factory because we need a lot of them. So looking at this now, I'm going to go straight to economic mobilization because after this, because Germany is going to start demanding Sudetenland. I think it kind of makes kind of makes sense in universe that we would start mobilizing after that or getting ready to mobilize. After that, I'm going to go for women army service because that grants extra recruitable population factor, and we grow gain command power even faster without spending any political power and then this which actually which has the same effect as going straight to limited rights but we don't need to spend any political power for that it means i can save it up for say going to partial mobilization or going to a war economy later I suspect that our war support will go up a fair bit because going up go up enough from this that we won't have to go back down. So there might not be a war this year. We are still gonna start mobilizing our economy. Uh, started I'm not sure if this actually precludes me from joining the supplies if I don't get it. It does give us some extra factories. Let's see, this is what I can actually do here. So it goes straight down here to women's suffrage. And possibly double back and get this, then three times many more, and then get to research slot. Change the plan. I'm gonna go with redesign small arms first, then try and get down to also possibly field hospitals or or signal companies, I'm not sure which. One of them anyway, because we're gonna need guns. Better guns. I'm to get rubber band because we're trying to get low on. A consumer factory sense wouldn't be enough to get you need this oh, i think i'm gonna leave it there for this episode like the first one was about two weeks of get of of in time game just getting everything set up and you have the focus tree this is us building up to the to holding the line here in Brittany. My plan is to try and have a full once that once these guys come up, I'll try I'll train them up, I'll transfer everyone over to Brittany command. And then subsequent ones will just go straight to a reservist sort of. Anyway, that's gonna be it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.